Do you get back pain when you wake up? If so, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'm going to explain some things you can do to prevent back pain when you wake up and what to do if you do get it. Now, if you find this video helpful, give it a like or thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you get notified of our future videos. Now, the question of why do I get back pain when I wake up is a pretty common question that I hear from clients. And usually that question means one of three things. Number one, there's back pain that wakes you up in the middle of the night or keeps you from sleeping or wakes you up earlier than you might normally get up in the morning. And that's kind of the most severe form of the problem. But then there are other people who sleep just fine, but then when they go to either roll over in bed or sit up from bed, they have some pain when they do that. And then the third version is that you know, they sleep okay, they can sit up from bed okay, but then when they get up, they feel stiff and they have to take a couple steps or some people even it's a few minutes up to 30 minutes where their back just feels really stiff and they don't feel as mobile or as, you know, just free flowing movement as they'd like to have. So these are the tips that I'm going to give. And, you know, ironically, I've been thinking about making this video for uh, about a week or so. But last night, I actually woke up with some back pain from you know, falling asleep funny on the couch and then going to bed later. So if you stay till the end of this video, I'll show you a stretch that I figured out last night that actually helped me get back to sleep uh, a lot quicker too. So the first version of this stretch, or the first version of this problem, is the problem that wakes you up at night, where your back either keeps you from sleeping or you get up earlier in the morning because of the back pain. And the best thing you can do to prevent that is getting yourself positioned properly. And what I mean by that is getting your spine as close to a neutral position so it's not super arched and it's not super curved, but it's just kind of in a flat, neutral position. Now I've got some other videos that go over this in a little more detail, but positioning in bed is one of the main things that you can do for that. And to do that, if you sleep on your side, just taking a pillow and putting it between your knees like that, and then also making sure, again, that you don't have too much arch in your back or that you're not curled up way too far in a fetal position, but just finding a nice position somewhere in between where your back's fairly flat. For some people, that might be legs straight. For other people, it might be almost curled up in a fetal position. But finding the position with your legs, with a pillow between the knees, that's most comfortable for you. If you are someone who tends to sleep on their back, typically a pillow under your knees or often even several pillows under your knees is helpful. Or if you have one of those beds that you can adjust the incline, that's also helpful. Bringing the head of the bed up some will help flatten your back out a little bit when you're sleeping at night. So after you've gotten yourself positioned comfortably, if you still feel like you can't sleep comfortably, sometimes it's just good to get up for a minute or so, go walk around, use the bathroom, maybe do a stretch or two and then get back in bed and that'll help you fall asleep. And again, that's what I did. And I was able to find one stretch that, uh, you know, it just made me feel really good and helped me get back to sleep better last night. So we'll get to that a little bit later. Now, the other problem is when you wake up and you feel pretty good when you wake up, but then when you start rolling and moving around in bed or trying to sit up, your back gives you some trouble. And that um, requires a, a solution where you use a little better technique to move around in bed or a little better technique to sit up from bed. So if you're someone who sleeps on their back or on their side and you're not automatically facing towards the side of the bed, that's the first thing you want to do is get yourself facing towards the side of the bed that you're going to sleep on. So if you're facing that way, you'd have to roll over a couple of rolls to get facing this way. If you're on your back, you just have to do sort of a quarter turn to get that way. Now, rolling in bed is something that can be uncomfortable for people. And again, there's another video that I'll link to that has some more specific tips on how to roll in bed. But in general, you want to turn your body as one unit, kind of like rolling a log over rather than twisting your upper half and then your lower half or vice versa, your lower half and your upper half. So what that would kind of look like if you're facing that way to start out, you'd have the pillow between your knees, hopefully, in the position you're sleeping in. And instead of kind of rolling like this and then bringing the rest of your body over, you want to bring your shoulder and your hip at kind of the same time. 
So everything rolls together. Now you might notice I'm at the side of the bed here, and so I couldn't really keep rolling or I'd just roll right out of bed. Scooting and lifting your bottom in bed is uncomfortable for a lot of people because it causes a lot of arch in your back. But the best way to do that is to do a little pelvic tilt. So to roll your pelvis towards you and flatten your back actually out on the bed. Then just unload a little bit and scoot your hips. Then scoot your shoulders and then repeat. Pelvic tilt, lift your hips slightly, scoot, scoot your shoulders. You might have to do that two, three, four, five times depending on how far you have to scoot. But tilt, lift, move your shoulders. Tilt, lift move your shoulders. Now I've got enough room here that I can roll over onto my side. And again, I don't want to bring my knees first, then my shoulders. I also don't want to bring my shoulders first, then my knees, but bring everything over at one time, just kind of like rolling a log over like that, where your spine stays neutral. There's no twisting in your spine. Now this next step is getting up from bed. And the easiest way to do that is just to bend your knees up like this and basically allow your body weight to help lever you up. So putting your feet over the side, putting your hand right there, digging your elbow in, and allow your feet and your arms to just fulcrum you up so that you're not having to use a lot of effort from your trunk to try to pull yourself up. When you have to use a lot of your trunk muscles to try to lift yourself up, or your back gets in a really arched or bent or twisted position, that's where it's more likely to give you a little bit of pain. Now the third version that I talked about at the beginning of this video is where you can get up from bed just fine, but then when you go to stand up, it feels like you get a catch in your back or you feel kind of stiff and you have to sort of walk it out before you feel like you can walk more normally again. So to get out of bed, if you have that problem, first it helps just to sit at the side of the bed, even if it's a little bit higher, and just sort of lean forward a little bit. That gets your spine in a neutral position, gets some of the muscles stretched out, and just kind of sit there for a moment, then lean forward to get out of bed. And I'm a little space limited with the wall here, but lean forward to get out of bed, pop your hips up, roll your hips underneath, and come back up to standing. Getting out of the way of the wall, if you roll your hips under, get your back nice and flat. The more your head goes down, the more your hips come up, and then you just kind of roll yourself up to a standing position and start taking your steps. Now, if you start out from a position where you just stand straight up, then your back's arched, you load all the joints that have been relaxed all night together really quickly, and that doesn't feel really good. So again, to review, the, the easier way to do that is to scoot to the end of the bed, lean forward a little bit, put your head down, hips up, and then come up to standing like that. So again, those are the tips to prevent back pain by positioning yourself correctly, to prevent back pain when rolling or getting up from bed by tilting your pelvis and scooting your bottom and then log rolling your body, and then to get up from bed by scooting to the end of the bed, leaning down with your head down, which pops your hips up and helps you get back up to standing. Now for the bonus, the thing that I discovered last night when I was having some trouble sleeping I got up, I moved around, I actually came in this room, the guest room, and did some stretches. I couldn't really initially find anything that felt really good, so just started playing with some things. And here's something that I discovered that worked for me. Now, my particular problem was on this side, and it felt like when I would lean over this way too far, or if I laid on my left side, my left side sunk in, this part being jammed together didn't feel really good. It felt like I needed to stretch that out. But no matter what position I laid in, I couldn't really get that stretched out. So here's what I found that worked. I laid on that side so that it's sinking into the bed and already kind of stretching out the right side because the right side's sinking into the soft bed and it's causing my body to form almost a U to the opposite side, a U or a C to the opposite side. The next thing I did was curl up in a ball trying to flatten my back out. But again, that didn't even, uh, that didn't even flatten it as much as I would have wanted. So then I tried just grabbing my, my leg like this. And that felt better, actually, getting my knee up to my chest and just kind of grabbing on to my toes like that. Still wasn't 100%, though. It felt like something was a little tight in the right side of my back. So then I kind of pulled this leg up 
with my hand and not so much back, a little bit back, but mostly just pulling it up so that it sort of helped bend my body to the side like that. Again, it's kind of a pretzely type exercise. You get a little twisted up and if you do lack some mobility, you may have to make some modifications to that. And again, lay on the sore side, bring the knee out forward on the opposite side, on the top side, and take the sore leg and just kind of pull it up like that. Now, if you try that out and it helps you, let me know. If you try it out and it doesn't, let me know as well, and I'd be happy to help you try to find something different. And once again, if you found this video helpful, give it a like or thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you get notified of our future videos.